being a writer, writing well about any topic, and what is particular to writing about war? What are the pitfalls? What are the troubles you encountered, the troubles you were wary of before you started? Speak to that a little bit, and then we'll uh, go into your biographies a little bit more in depth. So, Mazza, will you start us off? Did you have any preconceived worries, let's say, and um, and and what? How? Just in brief, how were you educated during the process about writing the war? I have. Um, well, let me let me start off by let me tell you a story. Uh, when I was first starting to write this book, and I was a student at Ed New York University, I volunteered. I have a really low cool voice. I volunteered for the Penn International Festival, and one of the writers that I was supposed to escort to his panel was um, Nuruddin Farah, who I think is, is, was here today. And he's a writer uh, born in Somalia who lived in Ethiopia, and many of his books have dealt with the, with the civil war in, in Somalia as well as the war between Somalia and Ethiopia. So he was the one that I was supposed to take to his panel. And I was, I was dumbstruck because he's someone I've read forever. And uh, we were on the 17th floor of the, a hotel meet and greet room. And we were waiting for the elevator. And he said, you know, you're from Ethiopia. You can walk a long way. Let's take the stairs. So <laughs> we started down 17 flights of stairs. And we were at this time at least 70, 70 years old. I'm breathing hard. And we're going down, and by the ninth floor, he said, talk to me. Um, what are you writing? I said, I'm, I'm writing a story about the revolution in Ethiopia. He said, uh-huh. And he's ahead of me. He walks much faster. And he said, um, tell me, who's the good guy and who's the bad guy? <laughs> so I think there's a trick. So I started in uh, telling him, well, I have this character, Dali, and he's this revolutionary and he's fighting against this evil force and Nuruddin stopped on, on this landing where we were and he said you've got it absolutely wrong if you're writing about war there is no good and there is no bad and that's the first lesson you have to learn I said okay <laughs> so I went back and really for me that was one of the most essential considerations of writing this book and about revolution is is the minds that in reality do get do get blurred. And when you write fiction, you have to add all those complexities of, of just human reality and relationships and neighborly, um, I don't know what the word, rivalries and husband and wife jealousies. All those things get exacerbated in a war. And that's what I was focusing on when I was 